Hello YouTubers and welcome to my very first Transformers review. Today we're going to take a look at Bumblebee, or should I say the Classics Deluxe Bumblebee, or, or should I refer to as G1 Bumblebee, which I believe the Classics toy line is part of the G1 continuity. Anyhow, before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, small, eager, and brave, Bumblebee acts as a messenger, spy, scout, and human guardian, of which humans are his best friends. And due to his small size, he dares to go where others can't and won't. He idolizes his fellow Autobots, especially his leader Optimus Prime, and Prowl, one of the Datsun brothers, and strives to be accepted. He is the most energy efficient and has the best vision of all the Autobots. He can go underwater for reconnaissance and salvage missions. Although physically the weakest Autobot, his stealth more than compensates for this inadequacy. And his function is a scout and espionage. And his while in the G1 continuity and the war for Cybertron cartoon on Netflix, he is a Volkswagen Beetle. Although in the but in the classics toy line he is a generic three door hatchback, okay. as well as in the 2015 Transformers game Transformers Devastation. During his appearance in the Marvel comics, he was and as well as the G1 cartoon. He was one of the many Autobots on board their spacecraft, the Ark, that had crashed landed on Earth four million years later and reawakened in the present day of 1984. And, and, and the G1 cartoon and the Devastation video game, he was voiced by the talented Dan Gilbazan. And, and he also escaped Unicron in the 1986 Transformers movie. And, and at the end of Season 3, he was rebuilt into Goldbug and had received many toys. And in 2006, this version of Bumblebee here, here was released as part of the 2006 Classics toy line as a generic hatchback with a Jetwave Mini Cruiser instead of a Volkswagen Beetle. This was probably done to save money on car licensing. Although, I, and I simply prefer this version of Bumblebee instead of the other versions of Bumblebee. This version of Bumblebee? Yes. Other versions of Bumblebee? Black. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that in the War for Cybertron cartoon on Netflix, he was voiced by Joe Zyja. So anyhow, without any further ado, let's get right into the review. So here we've got his G1 head sculpt and his yellow exterior with white lining. And we've got the Autobot symbol, which is barely invisible, which you have to rub it up. Let me put this pen down. Wow, it's very hard to rub. Um, and here we've got his, the car top, which is his chest, and his doors, which are his arm shields. And we've got the front end of the car, which is his feet. 
and now let's transform them to vehicle mode. So we're going to put the head back and the the car top up and now release his doors. Now put his back end up, his seats up. Hold on. And now for and now for for his arms to become his wheels. And here it is, his Bumblebee's vehicle mode. So on the front we've got the headlights and the grill, yellow exterior paint in the side view mirrors, and on the front we've got the I Heart NY, which means I Love New York, as it shows in the G1 cartoon episode, City of Steel. Now on the hood we've got the white stripes, although this part here is, although this right uh, left side here is missing a part I know it it doesn't have to be it doesn't although it doesn't bother me though oh please don't get mad and on the top we've got the Autobot symbol oh and the silver gray spoiler on the top and on both sides we've got the chrome silver rims on the black wall tires and and on the back side we've got the the back part which is white and the red taillights and the the tow hook which tows the Jetwave Mini Cruiser who I unfortunately which I unfortunately don't have. And now let's change him back to his normal self. So so the doors and wheels are gonna be his arms. And now, now for the now the front end of the car becomes his feet and legs, while the the back end becomes Bumblebee's back, and the top part becomes his chest. And now for his G1 head sculpt, head sculpt. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which version of the character Bumblebee in the franchise is your favorite? And do you prefer this version of Bumblebee, or should I say G1 Bumblebee, over other versions of Bumblebee? And should the trend involving Bumblebee being voiceless, which started in 2007, during the making of the first live-action Transformers film be put to an end. Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which Transformer to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you all guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!